Alex's big brother, we've learned tonight, and the Delta Chi fraternity will not have to serve any time behind bars. Instead, a judge has sentenced Andrew White to probation and meetings with the Adam Oaks family. White was the first to plead guilty to charges in connection to the VCU freshman's death. On your side at six, Desiree Montilla joining us live from Richmond. How does the Oaks family react to this sentence, Desiree? Kurt, the family tells us that this is this is a step towards justice for Adam Oaks, but tonight their focus remains on anti-hazing education and legislation to prevent another family from experiencing their heartbreak. More than a year after Adam Oaks' death, the first of 11 charged in connection to his death learned his fate. Andrew White already pleaded guilty to unlawful hazing and providing alcohol to a minor. On Tuesday, a judge sentenced White to 24 months behind bars, but suspended all of it. Instead, White will be on supervised probation. He must also perform 100 hours of community service and take part in a restorative justice program with Adam's family. It's a mediation between him and our family and we'll get to hear the events of the night that occurred um, up to Adam's death and they'll also be able to pose questions to better understand and to clarify exactly what happened. Andrew White also has to participate in five anti-hazing presentations with the Love Like Adam Foundation. The nonprofit was created by Adam's family with a focus on hazing prevention education. This plea deal isn't just for us to get answers. It's a chance for Andrew to support the systematic changes that we are trying to make in Virginia. He will support our efforts to combat hazing in our state and in our country. After the hearing, White declined to comment on camera, but in court, White read a letter to Adam's family telling them he's deeply sorry and thinks about Adam every day. The emotional roller coaster we have been on since Adam's death last February is indescribable. Now Adam's family is focused on change with two anti-hazing bills in General Assembly to prevent another family from experiencing their heartbreak. Just know that we're trying to save lives and we want to change the law and help the next family. Ten other members of the Delta Chi fraternity still have charges pending in connection to Adam Oak's death. Two of them are doing court next month. For now, we're live and on your side in Richmond this evening. Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. All right. Thank you, Desiree.